Just when you thought you've learned all you can about trig, you've learned that you can graph sine and cosine. I know, it seems daunting, but really, you can do it. So come join me and I will teach you an easy way to graph sine and cosine. This video is just gonna show you an easy way on how to graph sine and cosine. So let's get started. The first thing that you'll see on the board is that I have the unit circle with all the points labeled and the coordinate points. That is what we're going to use to build our sine and our cosine graphs. So the first thing you need to remember is that sine is our y value. So we're gonna look at our y values. When you look at our y values at zero, we have a y value of zero. At pi over two, we have a y value of one. At pi, we have a y value of zero. And at three pi over two, we have a y value of negative one. And then we come back to the end of the circle and at two pi, we have a y value of zero. So these are the ordered pairs that we're going to use. So we have zero, zero, pi over two, comma one. Then we have pi and zero. Then we have three pi over two at negative one. And then we have two pi and zero. So these are what we're gonna use for our ordered pairs to label on the graph on the right. You'll see at the graph on the right, I have our values from negative one to one in our y-axis and from zero to two pi, just like we have on the unit circle. So my first ordered pair is zero, zero. Then we have pi over two is at one. Then we have pi at zero. 3 pi over 2 at negative 1, and 2 pi at 0. So what you'll notice is we're graphing from a circle, which means our lines are curved. They're not just going to be straight lines from here to here. They're going to be kind of curved lines. So I'm going to curve it like as if it's coming from a piece of the circle and follow it around. So this is our graph of sine. But this is only from zero to two pi because that makes one full circle. If you keep going around the circle, you'll get these points to repeat over and over again. So technically, this sine graph is gonna repeat that same curve up and down basically forever if you wanted it to be. But what we talk about is one revolution of the circle. So how many radians does it take to go around the circle? It goes around two pi. Right, therefore that is one length of one sine curve, and this is called the period of the graph. The domain, these are our x values, remember. Our domain went from zero all the way to two pi, because those are the values we included. And our range, remember, is our y values, and our range went from negative one to one. So anytime you're asked to graph the basic sine graph, you're gonna look at this domain and that range, and this will be your basic graph. From here, you can repeat it, or the teacher might ask you to stretch it, or to shift it up and down, but this is your basic sine graph. Now let's move on to cosine. Okay, now for the cosine, we have the same setup as we do for sine. I have the unit circle right here, and remember, cosine is our x values. So with cosine being x, we have zero here, and our x value is one. Then at pi over two, our x value is zero. At pi, our x value is negative one. And at three pi over two, our x value is zero. And back here at two pi, our x value again is one. So now let's go ahead and label the ordered pairs. So the ordered pairs are zero comma one. Then we have pi over two comma zero. Then over on the left, we have pi and negative one, three pi over two and zero, and then we have two pi and one. Now I'm gonna take the ordered pairs and we're gonna plot them on our x, y axis. 
So 0, 1, pi over 2, 0, pi is down here at negative 1, and 3 pi over 2 is at 0, and 2 pi is at 1 again. And again, because we're taking this from a circle, our lines are going to be curved. So you're going to curve down. It's going to hit kind of like a V, come up, and like so. So this is one cosine graph for one revolution around the circle from 0 to 2 pi. But again, this will continue to repeat. And if you would continue the sine and cosines graph, you would see they have the same curvature. They're just offset from one another a little bit. So again, how many radians does it make, take to make a circle? 2 pi. So that is one length of the cosine curve. It's called the period of the curve. And again, our domain, our x values, right? They went from 0 to 2 pi. And our range, our y values, went from negative 1 to 1 again. So they have the same length because they're both around the curve. They have the same domain and they have the same range. In fact, their curves even look the same. They're just offset from each other. So hopefully this video helped you find easy ways to graph sine and cosine taken right from the unit circle. Make sure you subscribe and share this video with another friend who you know is doing trig.